Welcome to this tutorial. In the past few tutorials, we've seen how we can configure aspects and advice, and uh, we've done all the configuration using uh, annotations. We learned how we can write an aspect annotation to define an aspect, and we learned all the different advice types, you know, different, defined as uh, different annotations. We have before, after, after returning, after throwing, around and we also looked at the point cut annotation which allows us to define a point cut in one place and then apply it to different uh, advice methods. In addition to defining uh, aspects and advice methods using annotations, there is another way we can perform all this configuration and definition and that's in the Spring XML which is the XML way. After we look at some of the uh, XML configuration, we'll also discuss about when to use what. When would you choose to define aspects using XML and when would you rather define it using annotations? So let's transfer some of these configuration into the XML format. Uh, first, let me remove some of the advice that we do not use here. I'm going to remove all these things. We'll just have one advice method over here. Let's remove this. And uh, I'm going to change this around advice to use this expression, which is the all getters. Okay, so well, this aspect is very simple now. I have defined one point cut, which is, you know, which runs on the execution of all methods that start with a get, and I'm calling it all getters. And my all getters has the point cut expression for this around annotation, and this around annotation is annotating this advice method over here. So let's run this once to make sure everything is good. Yes, everything is good so far. So now let's transfer this configuration into an XML. So what that means is this aspect will not have any annotations. It will not have this annotation. It will not have the you know the ad advice method annotation. It will not have the point cut annotation. Everything will be configured in the Spring XML. So let's open up the Spring XML. So the one configuration that we've already set for the aspect is defining the bean for the logging aspect. Well, we have actually given a name as well as defined the class while the name is not really required because uh, we're not using this bean anyway. This could be an anonymous, anonymous bean, but then we can add a name also. So now what I will do is I will configure this aspect all the annotations that we have defined for this aspect, I will configure that in the Spring XML. So in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to have a particular AOP tag called AOP config. So AOP config will contain all my aspect configuration and uh, you know all the you know specific me method related configuration like the around and the point cut. Everything will go inside the AOP config tag. So now what I'll do is transfer all the annotations into XML configuration one by one. So let's look at the first one, add aspect for the logging aspect. See, at this moment, uh, this logging aspect has been configured as a bean. Now, the only thing that tells Spring that this is an aspect is this add aspect annotation. Now, if we remove this, we need to tell Spring that this is an aspect that we're looking at and it's not an ordinary bean. So if we remove this annotation, we need to transfer that to XML. What we need to do is we need to provide that information over here. And I can do that by doing AOP colon aspect. Now the AOP colon aspect takes in the ID and the reference. Let's not look at order at this moment. Now the ID is the ID of the aspect. I can give it, say, a logging aspect. And I also need to give a reference. The reference is a reference to the bean that I have defined for the aspect. Now I've defined the logging aspect as a bean called logging aspect. So I will use that as the reference over here. Okay, so this line is equivalent to 
marking the aspect as at aspect over here you know whatever annotation we had over here called at aspect is replaced by this line of xml code over here okay so now that takes care of the first at aspect annotation now let's look at this point cut now at point cut is containing two information over here one is the name of the point cut and one is the expression so let's let's put that over here now this needs to be inside the aspect tag so i'll open this here and i'll create a new tag aop colon point cut and the expression the same as the expression here okay and this also takes the id and so the id would be the name that is used to refer to this point cut now i'm using the all getters name here so i'll use the same name for the id here as well all getters so this defines a point cut called all getters and having the expression as this inside the logging aspect so this is equivalent to having this these two lines of code over here so we have a blank method annotated with a point cut annotation we do not need to use this anymore since we already have that point cut expression defined over here okay so that's done now we'll have to look at this annotation the add around marks this particular method as an around method and then it also you know refers to what point cut expression for which this advice needs to be applied so if we remove this and transfer this configuration to xml what we need to do is we need to use the aop colon around now the aop colon around takes in a method parameter the method happens to be the method of this logging aspect which is the my around advice so if you have multiple methods and you need different methods to be configured with different advice types you would use the corresponding xml configuration over here here it's aop colon around you could use aop colon before after after throwing after returning all those things okay so now again i can use the point cut reference now the point cut reference is a reference to the point cut that we already defined so here we use a reference to a uh, all getters we know our annotation here had a reference to all getters so that's what i'm going to do here i'm going to use all getters as the point cut reference so in summary what we're doing is we are defining an aspect called logging aspect that refers to the bean that we've already defined we are defining a point cut called all getters and that contains the expression and then finally we are defining uh, around as one of the methods of the aspect and then i'm also mentioning what is the point cut expression for which this method has to get executed as advice so this is a complete configuration for what we had in the logging aspect so let's save this save this and then run this once again to make sure everything is fine yes so the advisor is getting executed but the difference here is this aspect class is no different from any other class well we are not having any aspect related configuration we are not having any point cut related configuration everything has been transferred to the xml so everything sits inside a aop config element and uh, i have defined my aspect inside a aop colon aspect so there is there are other ways we can uh, we can configure this now let's say you do not want to define a point cut configuration we saw how inline configuration works so i could write a add around and then i could uh, i could write the point cut expression itself over here i need not have to define a point cut so that also is possible so what we need to do is instead of having a separate aop colon point cut what we could do is in the around instead of having a point cut ref we could have a point cut itself so this point cut expression could be mentioned in line 
fix this here. We do not need the point cut reference or a separate point cut definition. So this would be an equivalent of an inline point cut expression. So I have an around and a, you know around XML tag which says this is the around advice and this is the point cut expression. So just to make sure this works. Yes, this is also working fine. So this, you know, I'm not covering all of the intricacies. There are there are a few ways in which we can, uh, you know, configure all of the things that we have seen so far. Say, for example, I have, uh, let's take another advice type before. Now you have uh, arg names, which allows you to pass argument names as input. So you can pass the arguments that go to the method. We saw that earlier by defining a point cut expression and then having those arguments as method arguments. You can define those method arguments over here and these arguments are gonna get passed on to the actual method. So this is, in summary, uh, a brief introduction to XML configuration in uh, Spring AOP. Well, uh, personally, I'm a big fan of annotations and I would like to configure all these using annotations whenever possible. But then there are two reasons why we need to know how to configure all these things in XML. First of all, if you're looking at some legacy code, which was written before annotation support was introduced in Java, most likely uh, all the configuration over there is in XML. There might be new configurations that could be added. So you could have a project that has a mix of XML and annotation configuration, but all the code that was written before annotation support would obviously have uh, XML configuration. So it's, it's good to know what these configurations are in XML format. The second thing is, uh, whenever you write a new uh, aspect configuration, you always have a choice uh, about whether you want to configure them using annotations or using XML. The reason you would choose annotations is, of course, it's simpler and it's more readable. And uh, one predominant factor where you would want to choose XML configuration is if you treat these aspects as configuration rather than functionality. Uh, what I mean by that is, let Let's take the example of transactions. Transactions are a part of the functionality for most cases. And uh, whenever you write transaction aspects, you want that to be a part of the functionality and you would want them to be annotated. But let's say you have some kind of a debugging logic that you want to bring in and out during the lifetime of the application and you don't want to build the application all over again just to configure it, then it would make sense to have them in the XML configuration.